Alright, so for round three, we are on the mulligan again with our one lander. And now we have two lands, but a lot of three drops. Uh, this is one of the concerns of the deck, so hopefully we drop... Ooh, against control, though. I uh, don't like this hand in this matchup. Uh, without Master Waves, we might be in a little bit of trouble. Uh, is that a Haven? Okay. At least it's a Haven and not a Crucible that they're just going to start charging up on us. Uh, I guess we can't complain about that mana base. Alright, let's uh... Let's uh, throw a Thos out here so we can just start getting some manipulation on our deck. Uh, I would like to start trying to beat down, but I don't think it's that important with our opponent playing those three lands. <laughs> uh, we'll put that on bottom. Alright, I don't want to play a Show Crasher into... <clears throat> uh, without extra mana up, so... I guess we'll still play this. Alright. And no removal spell, not even going to cast something. Well, our opponent's going to get hit real hard, I guess, next turn. <laughs> Why is this happening? Top. I feel like we are getting very lucky in this daily. Cast. Attack. Alright, yep, yeah, pass the turn. Now our opponent's like way too far behind to even catch up. Yep, yeah, wins. Easy peasy. Alright, so disdainful strokes. Aether Spout, or not Aether Spout, Ethereal Ambush. Our negates, again, the cards that we're not going to want in this matchup. Our Master of Waves, one Siren, and an Island. Feels like the best way to sideboard. Could be a green source, but I think we want to make sure we have all of them. And maybe the deck should have one mana confluence. I don't think that'd be that bad of a land for the deck, to be honest. But I'm not going to make waves with uh, another person's deck list this soon. I've already made a couple changes to the sideboard. I think that's enough for me. Alright, so for game two, this hand seems fine. Our, our opponent's on the mulligan as well. Can't really complain. We have our one of Ethereal Ambush again. It's like the perfect number if you always draw it. Uh, the question is, what do we do on turn two if we don't draw a different two drop? Do we just slam our Stratus Dancer or try to get value from it later in the game? It's a question I don't really know the answer to. And I might not have to actually have it for this next turn. Depending on what he takes here. With a mulligan and a Thoughtseize, uh, I, I don't even know if we just have to slam Stratus Dancer. Maybe we just want to get value out of it, but then it just opens us up to not just clocking him in any way. Especially with only four cards in hand. It feels like we should just play it. We have redraws to one of the other three and the other five counter spells. And it won't matter. But that's a beautiful card to see. I've even recently started to play start testing modern. I've been playing with uh Hmm. Alright, well I don't think we're supposed to frostwalker. I wish we drew that last turn, but I've been playing the Elves deck in Modern, and that deck is busted because Collected Company is just disgusting. No land drop for our opponent, but we still want to keep playing stuff. If our opponent had like seven cards in hand, I might consider just playing a land and saying go, but... Alright, we do not need to sacrifice that. Alright, we'll play the coast so our opponent uh, doesn't know more cards in our hand. And we'll attack. And we'll just pass again. And if our opponent does something to end a turn, we're just going to collect a company here. Downfall, that's fine. Let's collect a company. Uh, Thassa and Shore Crusher seem perfect. 
And even if our opponent kills the Shore Crasher, we still have a Thassa now to help put lands on the bottom. And just can't kill the Shore Crasher. That sucks. Uh, put on bottom. We'll play a Frostwalker. This will allow us to get our Thassa online, and this might have to get countered. Alright, gets countered. We still get online. Pump our Shore Crasher 1. Put our opponent down to 10. Ooh, hit a land. Game on. We have exactly lethal in play. Let's try to negate to just lock it up. That's good enough. Uh, so we can't... We don't have enough lands to morph this first. So... We do have to pump once though. We have to threaten lethal. Well, yeah, opponent didn't have anything and we just killed him. Uh, let's hope round four is a little bit more exciting than this. Or today's going to be a short day and you can get back to work. Like you should be doing anyway. Alright, I'll see you for round four.